JavaScript is a terrible language, but it's getting better. And the trouble is that today's browsers don't yet understand all of the cool new features that have been added to recent versions of the JavaScript language. For example, here I'm using the new let keyword, which is like var but has different scoping rules. I'm setting a variable q equal to 99, and then below that another variable that's a string, where I'm using q in that string. Now, normally I'd have to write this by, you know, putting a little text in quotes and then a plus and putting Q and then some more text in quotes and uh, I forgot a space at the beginning of this quote, so my string comes out wrong. It's a freaking nightmare. Variable interpolation like this, kind of like in PHP, makes it much easier to construct strings. And ES2015 has a lot of really cool features like this that make you faster in JavaScript. But the trouble is that browsers don't yet understand it, and neither do all of the tools that work with JavaScript, such as the minifier in CodeKit, Uglify.js. If I just try to compile main.js right now, I'll get an error from Uglify saying, hey, I don't understand, I can't parse this stuff, it doesn't know what let is. That's easy to fix. All I need to do is come into CodeKit, select main.js, and then transpile with Babel. Once I do that, CodeKit will add an extra step to the processing, and... Babel will run on this file, which transpiles, or basically transforms this code back into today's JavaScript so that tools and browsers can work with it. And sure enough, if I go look at main.min, I'll see that string, my variable, is constructed just like I would have had to, q, plus, and then some text, and plus. Fortunately, I didn't have to deal with that. To control exactly how Babel transpiles your JavaScript, open project settings and choose the Babel category under tools. I recommend you start by reading the official documentation so that you have a good understanding of all of Babel's complex options. Let's run through a few of them here. These two fields let you enter a before and after comment that Babel will add right before or after every transpile action it takes in your code. It's useful for debugging or if you want to understand how the processor is actually transpiling your code. Below that, the next thing to worry about is Babel config files. If you work in a team with other folks that don't use CodeKit, it's very likely that they control Babel by using a special file named .babelrc. If that file exists, you may want to use your team's configuration rather than trying to match it in the UI here in CodeKit. And that's easy to do. Simply select here, use settings from babelrc files only. You can also merge the file settings with CodeKit, but if you do that, any that conflict will use the setting from CodeKit's UI over the one in the file. Below that is the presets section. I highly recommend that you stop here and just use Babel at the preset level. By default, ES 2017, 16, and 15 are enabled when CodeKit ships. The other stages here, stage three through zero, are really experimental features that aren't even finalized or guaranteed to make it into JavaScript officially. If you write code using those features, there's no guarantee that it'll ever be around in a year or two. So unless you're playing around or just experimenting, I would not write production code against stage three through zero. And finally, if you're using a React project, you'll want to check this box so that your React compiles correctly. Below that, you can specify custom presets and plugins. There's hundreds of them available on the internet. You would install these through NPM and put them in your project folder under a node modules folder. And then give CodeKit the names as a comma-separated list. It'll pass them to Babel along with all of the built-in ones in CodeKit. And below that, you can specify which plugins Babel should run on an individual basis. If you really want to fine-tune Babel, this is where you come to do it. You enable just the plugins you want, leaving the other ones disabled. 